Now I'm going to go over a little more difficult examples. However, in order to take the derivative, we're still going to have to use the basic power rule. Um, so let's say we have the function f of x is equal to 3 multiplied by the square root of x. So notice for this function how we have a square root of x and we do not have an x followed by an exponent. And many of you are wondering probably since we don't have x followed by an exponent, how are we going to take the derivative using the basic power rule? Well this can be solved using a basic rule from algebra. If you remember a long time ago from your algebra class, a square root can be written as a one-half exponent. Uh, so instead of writing the square root of x, you can write x with a one-half exponent. And now that we have a simple x followed by an exponent, we can take this derivative quite easily uh, using the basic power rule. So let's just get started right away with the derivative. Our derivative using the basic power rule, and once again I'm going to copy and paste just to save a little bit of time. So once again, our first step in using the power rule is we want to bring the exponent to the front. So I'm going to take this one half exponent and I'm just going to bring it to the front. And I'm going to put a dot in between the one half and the three just to show that they're being multiplied by each other. And moving on to step number two, we want to subtract the exponent by one. So since in the original function, uh, the x had a one half exponent, I'm going to subtract one half by one. And so one half minus one is a negative one half. So in the derivative, I'm going to write a negative one half exponent. So now we have taken the derivative using the power rule. And you always need to simplify this as much as possible. So I'm going to simplify this a little further. The one half multiplied by the three is a three over two. And you should never leave a negative exponent in your final answer. So I'm going to teach you another rule from algebra. I don't know if you remember this from a long time ago, but a negative exponent in a numerator is a positive exponent in the denominator. So instead of writing this x to the negative one half in the numerator, I'm going to put it as a x to the positive one half in the denominator. And this derivative cannot be simplified any further. This is our final answer. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.